Greetings everyone, this is Shawar Khan and in this lesson we are going to talk about Drupal CMS. Drupal is another CMS just like WordPress and Joomla which can be found here at drupal.org. It's a free CMS and can be used for creating websites and stuff. Here we got a target application that's using Drupal. You can see the contents here search bar and the rest of the stuff in the next lesson we will learn how to target sites that uses drupal greetings everyone this is Shahar khan and in this lesson we will learn how to detect drupal cms basically weblizer can detect that if you're if you're using weblizer you will see the Drupal icon as you can see here it's using Drupal 8 and you can also see that the same icon you can see in the fav in the favicon that also tells us if it's using Drupal also we can try to check the login panel which is located at If we set the queue parameter to user slash login and if we get a login panel, it's possible that it's using Drupal CMS because that's where the, where the panel is in Drupal. And we got a panel here. Now the next thing is to look up for some files that are available in default installation like readme.txt this file isn't available so let's try checking for changelog.txt alright we got the Drupal version being used and it tells us it's the Drupal CMS. Another thing that's available is upgrade.txt. That's also a file that's available in the Drupal installation. Alright, we also got this file. That means it's using Drupal CMS. You can also try looking up for um, URLs like sites default settings.php it's a file that's available in drupal cms and you can see um, it's not returning a 404 or a not found error instead we're getting a blank page that means the file is available there so that's how to detect a drupal cms greetings everyone this is shawar khan and in this lesson we're going to talk about group skin Drupal Skin is basically a tool that is developed for pen testing Drupal based websites. This can be found on GitHub slash Drup slash Drup Skin. This is developed in Python and is easy to use. What it does is it basically scans a Drupal website, detects themes, files, version, and plugins. This is similar to WP scan for WordPress and this one is for Drupal. In the next lesson we will learn how to perform a scan, how to scan a Drupal website using Drupal skin. Greetings everyone, this is Shavar Khan and in this lesson we will learn how to scan a Drupal based website using Drupal skin. We got a target application here that's using Drupal and I've already installed the Drupal skin on my system. Here you can see the syntax Drupal skin, skin Drupal, and U for specifying the URL. So the next thing is we have to start the Drupal skin. And we have to skin Drupal. 
on SU argument for specifying the URL. Now it will first scan all the modules, then the plugins and all that stuff. So this may take a while. This tool can be also used for detecting version of Joomla sites and for scanning Silver Stripe CMS. Alright, so this scan is now completed and we can see that two themes were identified, Blue Marine and the Garland which is located at this path. Groups can also identify some interesting URLs like the change log file which tells us the version, the login panel and the version being used is 6.26 and these are some of the plugins that it found. Now the interesting thing is we can um, search these plugins on ExploitDB and can find if any of them are vulnerable to any kind of attack. So that's the important part here for that's the main reason we are gathering information and identifying each and every plugin and theme. So that's how we use Drupal Skin against Drupal.